How cool was that? Hello folks and welcome to, believe it or not, Samui's International Airport. I'm seated right now on a swing and it doesn't look like I'm at an airport. And I'm actually making a dedicated video to show you what this international airport here in Samui is like because it's really one of a kind and really unique and I've never been to an airport like this. Just look at the background behind me here. We've got a, a shop, a coffee shop over there playing some music. We've got some bean bags behind these swings here that usually are laid out when the weather is looking a little bit more promising. But today we're gonna be flying with some pretty gloomy weather up ahead. But let's show you a little around the airport, give you a feel for what this international airport is like. And then I'll tell you about the details of my flight to Bangkok. What's particularly incredible about Samui Airport is how you can just sit out here on this open field right in front of the runway and watch the planes come in and take off right before your eyes. Where else in the world can you do that? And just over there behind me in the distance, you see the golden chedi above that little hill there? We were there on a previous video and we saw a few planes taking off and landing on the runway. But unfortunately, the weather is just not looking too great today to do this place justice because this airport on a clear blue sunny day just looks like something, it almost looks like an airport to heaven. It's so picturesque. So when you arrive at departures at the airport, the check-in gates and the kiosks are right there. You go up to them, you present your passport, all the standard stuff. You go through that and then on the way to this area, it almost looks like you're walking through a Muban, through like a village. The closest example that I can think of in my mind is for those of you who are from the UK, um, there's a place called Bista Village and it's like this outlet area. And that's kind of like what Samui really reminds me of. It's very, very bougie. And there are houses scattered all around with like really beautiful pavements and shops. There's like 20 or 30 shops that I saw on the way to the gates here with quite a few famous franchises set up as well as a few local boutiques that weren't essentially open because the time right now is around about 6 a.m. All around the airport are these ponds and you've got a pond right here that goes right around this field. Now, I don't know if this pond is connected to all the other ponds or if the ponds are kind of like independently got their own bodies of water but it's fascinating there's like lots of greenery beautiful lily pads flowers blooming as well as a number of different species of fish like koi fish etc swimming around the ponds it's really well thought out and again if these were blue skies this right here would look unbelievable Usually on a clear summer's day, these bean bags would be scattered all around this area. And it just looks so picturesque. And it's incredible to have yourself a little coffee here, sitting on the bean bag and watching the planes come in, take off. It's so good. And there's a sign there that basically describes just how awesome it is. Amazing Thailand. Quite a fitting description, I would say. So just behind me are the gates to the airport and they're not your typical gates. It looks more like a co-working space or lounge rather than a boarding gate. If you recall what a boarding gate looks like, it's usually the seats are these sort of uncomfortable metal seats and they're in these array patterns and it's just all very gloomy. But here it's rather comfortable and the seats look pretty decent. And look at this little cafe as well as seating area out here. If you didn't know I was making a video dedicated about Samui Airport, you would have no idea what this place was. This is inside, technically outside, in the open area 
of an airport. Nice, nice. Now, can you believe the bathrooms or the toilets for the men's and women's each have their very own aquarium? How cool was that? Hello P, um, what time are we going to be boarding? Around 5 minutes. In 5 minutes, okay, cool. Now, we've only got 5 minutes until we're supposed to be boarding our plane, but I've just come across the courtesy counter, which is in between gate 1 and gate 2. And this seems like it's all inclusive as part of your ticket flying out of Simui International Airport. Look, it's all free. You can get these, oh, you can get these little snacks, some chocolate muffins, a few sandwiches, eat all you want. Popcorn, orange juice, no way. Oranges, that's chilled. That is service. It's chilled all right. Wow. And then look at that view. Unreal. And then you also have a free coffee machine here where you can get your latte or your regular coffee and some more soft drinks here like royal milk tea and iced chocolate or whatever drink. Now, what should I go with? I'll get myself one of these chicken ham wholemeal toast or chicken ham white toast. I don't know if I have time to eat this right now. Maybe on the plane. Okay, looks like they're boarding. And I've just finished my sandwiches from the courtesy bar, just in time. Wait, bro, it's all in Thai. I don't know which one's which. And those over there are the shuttles that are going to take us to our plane. Well, I'm going to take a seat until the line frees up. But although I did say earlier that it's not the best conditions to be flying at this moment in time, it's actually probably the easiest because it's actually relatively quite cool. Can you imagine on a hot summer's day with no clouds about and the sun beaming down? This place would be scorching hot because it is an open air airport and there are no AC systems. Basically the whole airport is cooled down by fans that are positioned on these pillars. But it's not sufficient enough to stop you from sweating, I would say, on a hot summer's day. Especially with this translucent roof that looks incredibly beautiful and lets in a lot of light. But with this design comes a lot of heat too. Now, the flight to Bangkok is thankfully a short one. I think it only lapses for about an hour. So we won't be in the air for too long. It'll take us about maybe 10 minutes to climb to flying altitude and another 10 minutes to descend down. So. so I feel like the total time we'll be in the air will be around about maybe 30 to 40 minutes. One thing I haven't checked is whether my seat number is in zone two or zone one. I'm zone one.
ต่อพนักงานบริการภาคพื้นที่และพนักงานต้อนรับคนเครื่องบินขอบคุณครับ Right or left? Right or left? Maybe left. Maybe right. Hello, สวัสดีครับ Thank you, Papa. I'm fine. Thank you. สวัสดีครับ Thank you. Okay, we're getting ourselves on the shuttle. This is actually a very fun bit of the experience as well when flying from Samui, because you can literally hang off the side. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> thank you. Woo! We're right on the back of the shuttle, and off we go. See you later. Bye bye. Oh, look how beautiful this is. Looks like this is our aircraft. Woohoo! Here we are. <laughs> okay, we're making our way up. The staircase to board the plane. I like how it's sheltered. So if it is raining on a day like today, then you won't get wet. You're covered. Wow, today's flight is rammed. So we're the sure. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, and I'm seated. Whew. There we are. Alright folks, so while the remaining few passengers board the plane, I'm going to wrap up today's video here. If you enjoyed today's tour of Samui International Airport, you know what to do. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like today's video and share with friends and family. And I will see you in the next video here on the channel. Many thanks for watching guys. Take care and bye for now.